Advent season, everybody. This is the package that your Parachuting Santa toy is going to come in. So when you get this package, you can open it up, and inside you're going to see this. You're going to see some Santa hair and beard. You're going to see a little pine cone that's been painted with gold paint. A red pipe cleaner. A clothespin that's been painted red with a screw in the top, but you're going to tighten that. A little rolled up piece of string and the parachute. You're also going to need some other tools. You would use either hot glue or Elmer's glue. If you use Elmer's glue, remember to wait after you glue the part so that it has time to dry. You're going to need a little pair of scissors. You might need a sewing needle, but you can also tie the two pieces together that I'm going to show you. And you might want some markers to draw the Santa's face on. So, ready? Let's get started. All right, I'm going to use this as my sample because somebody had started to draw a face on this Santa. You see that the screw eyelid is in his head, but it's not very tight. So I'm going to tighten it up. It doesn't have to go all the way down. Okay, we're going to attach the parachute strings to that eyelid. Now I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to draw a little bit of a face on Santa. And I'll use that red, that red mouth that somebody painted. I'm going to make a little nose and I think I'm going to make a little red mouth. So this red looks kind of like his rosy cheeks. And I'll make a little red mouth under there. The next thing I'm going to do is take the pipe cleaner and put it on the front of him like this, about halfway in the middle, and then I'm going to wrap it around. These are his arms, but we need them to really attach well to his body. And you see how it kind of stabilizes when it goes around his body? And this I'm going to put a little drop of hot glue on. You could use Elmer's glue, but remember you'd have to wait a little bit for it to cool off. Please have somebody help you with the hot glue because it's easy to get a burn. Even though I've used it a lot of times, I can still wind up accidentally getting a burn. The next thing I'm going to do is take the Santa beard and hair. It, it's a, actually a piece of uh, sheep's wool that's been washed and combed and I'm going to put it around Santa's head like this. I want to see his face. The screw is going to show at the top. And here's his long flowing beard. It might stick to some of the glue that's already in the back there for the arms. That would be cool if it did that, right? There's Santa's face. His arms are sticking out. What I'm going to do now with his arms, I'm going to have him delivering a pine cone. I'm going to bend both of these little arms a little bit so they grab onto the pine cone. Of course, I could glue the pine cone in too. I think I'm going to put a little drop of hot glue there. Santa's going to be delivering a pine cone. Remember to be careful with that hot glue because it can burn a finger. I'm going to do it on this side too so that Santa's delivering this pine cone. This is an old fashioned parachuting toy, and you might have noticed it's made with a um, clothespin, a wooden clothespin. still see Santa's little face there. Santa can't wear a hat because he's going to have his parachute cords coming right out from the top of that head, but he still looks pretty Santa-like, I think. All right, here's Santa with his beard, with his pine cone that he's going to deliver. And now I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to the string. Hot glue also leaves some uh, little hairy little threads. You might have to hold that even even though it starts to cool off pretty quickly. Okay. So you're going to unroll your roll of your spool of thread there, that little circle of thread, and you're going to see that one side has two cut ends and a loop. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut through that single loop. And the other side has got two loops. Don't cut through those. These two loops are going to go right through the eyelet at the top of Santa's head. You see how that goes? Now, I'm going to pull them only a little bit. This is a half hitch knot. I'm going to open up those loops and I'm going to put the loose ends through them like that. 
This is a very useful knot to know about. There you go. Now we've got four strands. We're going to attach each one of these to the corner of our parachute. I'm going to separate them out. Okay. And the parachute is a piece of lining fabric. It's really light and it's about 15 inches square. So it should give you a lot of loft. And what I want to do is take one string and go to one corner. At this point you could use a needle and a thread. You could thread this up and then you could sew it through the corner of the fabric. What I'm going to try doing is taking about an inch of the string and making a little tiny rolled up corner of the parachute and I'm going to tie them together. Remember in art you really want to have a double knot so I'm using the fabric as one part of my knot and the little string as the other part. I'm doing this without my glasses. How do you like that? So here's one one single knot. I guess you could put a drop of glue on that but I think Making a double knot is probably a better idea. I'm going to do a double knot. There's my double knot. All right, so one corner of my parachute is attached to Santa. Let me grab another thread. It doesn't matter what order you do the threads in. They don't have to be in a certain order. You can grab any thread and go to the next corner. So I tied all four corners onto this parachute. And you see if the parachute is, has strings that are about that long. They're all, they're all measures. They should be fairly even. How you're going to deploy your, your parachuting Santa is you've got to roll up his parachute. So gently fold it so it's kind of like a long shape. This point here is the center of the parachute. And then Bring the strings down to about Santa's below his arms and roll him up a little bit like that and then roll him up in his parachute soft. Don't, don't pull too tight because we want this to unroll pretty quickly when we throw him in the air. Now he's ready to throw in the air. I'm going to go outside with this parachuting Santa. I'm going to throw him up in the air. It happens pretty quickly. He comes down pretty quickly. But his parachute should open and he should make a little side to side wafting as he comes down onto the ground. So I hope you enjoy your parachuting Santa. Let's go outside. <laughs>